Welcome to Dirt Road Therapy Studio, where we go behind the scenes of the main channel Dirt Road Therapy to talk about video production equipment and techniques. Today, I wanna to talk to you guys about the storage that I use because when you get into video production, especially if it's 4K, even if it's just on your smartphone, those files end up taking up a lot of space. And you're not gonna want them all on the internal drive of your computer, and you're also gonna to wanna to just back things up. So two main solutions that I use, well, actually three main solutions that I use are the SanDisk Extreme SSDs. This one's two terabytes. I would recommend getting at least two terabyte. The one terabyte, uh, they're great too, but you just don't get to have as many projects, especially if you're doing like what I do, a lot of times a multi-day trip with multiple cameras, action cameras running all the time, you know, you're filling up 128 gigabyte cards left and right. The one terabyte can be, uh, it's not, I've never run out of space on it for a single project, but sometimes you got another project that you're working on and it won't even fit two projects. So uh, two terabyte, there's also up to four terabyte on these right now, though the price there gets really steep. Your cost to go from one terabyte to two is really pretty insignificant. And that's mainly why I recommend just going to two. That's all there is to this. Um, there's a cable, of course, included with it, so it's not hard connected to your computer. You know, this doesn't just plug in like a flash drive, but uh, that's how it comes. And what I love about this setup, uh, you know, a lot of people call this a dongle because it just kind of dongles, I guess. Uh, this is USB-C, and it plugs right into my MacBook Pro. And I can carry my computer around this way. I can also close the lid and move it or put it away for a little bit without having to disconnect the drive. And I've never had an issue with the drive saying that it was not safely ejected. So that's really nice. The uh, portability of them is excellent. I can fit multiple uh, drives like that in my computer bag that I carry. And if you need to plug it into a regular USB 3.0 port, they do make these little adapters. I can't remember if these come with the SanDisk. It's been a little while since I bought one. Uh, but I think this one for sure came with this G drive, but that just connects into the end of the USB-C to make it, man, yeah, that's a little better, to make it into the uh, USB-A, I think that is. This is another solution that I really like. This is a G drive. 5 terabyte. I believe there's an updated version to this particular drive right now, and I think the only thing updated is maybe the interface here. Mine came with only a USB-C, so I do believe this one came with the cable and this uh, little adapter plug, but I have a few of these. And that, again, just plugs right into the side of the computer. Now, the SSDs are incredibly fast like basically as fast as your internal SSD, which is awesome. So working off 4K multi-camera projects off of this drive, no problem. This drive, however, is a spinning disc and that's why it's able to be five terabytes for a reasonable price, but it's really not any faster by it being USB-C. It's just uh, that it's a little bit more convenient to not have to adapt anything. The other drives that I use, I have one in my bag down here, maybe. Where did it go? There we go. So this is just a Seagate five terabyte drive. I prefer the five terabytes just because I feel like it's the best bang for the buck that's out right now. Four terabytes is probably fine if that's all you can get a hold of, but generally speaking, these are around $100, like 90 to 120, let's say. This one being that it has the added shock protection in it. And you can see, I mean, this is not a, you know, there's an enclosure around a hard drive here. So this is a little bit oversized to the actual drive, but then this unit is a little bit more protected and it's not just this bumper. Like there's, there's definitely a little bit more shock protection inside of that as well. Either way, you don't want to ever drop a hard drive while it's reading or writing because that's very likely to damage it. But these little Seagate drives are good, and I don't necessarily kick these around with me all the time. I would prefer to copy stuff off of this drive and carry that with me as my backup. 
but um, you can see a, a stack of these drives here on my desk and I use them for all kinds of storage and backup. And yes, I'm aware that you can buy like 10 and 20 terabyte desktop drives. Uh, I just am not at the point where I feel comfortable storing that much data in one place. So what's great about these is that you can keep them in different places and you know, back up your stuff to them so that if there's a flood, there's a fire, there's a kid that comes through and kicks over your stuff, it's not going to damage everything that you have. So the best bet in storage, um, just in backing up files, is going to be to uh, make sure that you're diversifying where you're keeping things and, and making multiple backups. We'll talk a little bit more about that in another episode. I'd love to talk about workflow and how it goes from the camera card to the computer to a backup and where you should put all of that. But um, yeah, that's gonna be a little bit different for everybody, but ultimately buy lots of storage, make sure that you are not keeping things on camera cards. Uh, you wanna basically be able to offload your camera card and not worry about if that gets formatted you know, the minute it goes back into the camera. So that's the storage solution. Seagate five terabyte, G drive five terabyte or four terabyte and the SanDisk Extreme SSDs in a two terabyte if you can find one of those. So I'll leave links to all of these things in the description below for my Amazon store. Please use those links if you're interested in purchasing any of these items because they do help support the channel. Appreciate you guys watching. Have a great day.